Hey, what is up guys? King of Games 908 here. I uh, wanted to give you another lovely Pokemon video. This is explaining um, Pokemon gems here. I've talked to a lot of other people that play Pokemon Go and apparently they did not know the bonuses that you get from actually competing in a gym other than it just being for your team. So as we click on this gym here, we'll see it's owned by Team Mystic here. Um, boo, I'm a Valor. <laughs> Go Red Team. Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, start off by fighting this gym here. You can see my lineup there. So as you can see, the gym level has reverted back to no team. Okay, um, so now it is white. We will click on here, and we get to place a Pokemon. So I'll go ahead and place my Gyarados there, and you can see that it turns to red um, for Team Valor. Now the only Pokemon there is uh, my Gyarados. You can train and, and increase... Um, your gym so that other people can add their Pokemon there or they can do that if they're on the same team. But here's the benefit to actually doing the gyms. Not only do you get experience points, but if you hit the center Pokeball and you go to shop, this is never explained to you in the tutorial. Up here in the top right hand corner you'll see a little shield that it says one. That means I have one Pokemon in a gym right now. You'll also see there's a timer on there because you can only collect from this shield once every 24 hours. Okay, so once you collect it's another 24 hours before you can collect again. So your best bet is to get as many Pokemon and gems as you can before you collect this. Now, once you hit that shield, it's not going to pop up for me right now because, like I said, I've got 16 hours left. But once you hit that shield, for every Pokemon that you actually have in a gym, you get 500 Stardust and 10 Pokecoins okay, that can be used in this shop. So if you put 10 Pokemon in a gym, you go to click on your shield, and you still have the 10 on there, once you click, you automatically get 100 Pokecoins. Now it's very hard to get 10 Pokemon into a gym because usually within an hour or so, um, they are defeated. The longest I've ever had a Pokemon in a gym, I've had two, my Gyarados and my Dragonite, both in gyms, and they were both in there for, I think, almost... It was almost 20, it was over 24 hours. It was almost, I think, 30 hours before they actually got kicked out and somebody had defeated them. So don't just be doing the gyms because it's for your team, but it also benefits you in game. You get experience points, albeit it's not that much experience points. You get those achievements, you know, knocked out here, um, Battle Girl, 107 gym battles, and each time you train, you get more towards the achievement. But the benefit is for every Pokemon, once you hit that shield, 500 star bust and 10, uh, Stardust excuse me, and 10 Pokecoins. So it really benefits that. I wish they would have explained this in the game a little bit better, um, but they didn't. Of course, nobody tells you these things, but that's why I made this video. That's why I'm here for you guys. You guys now know the benefits of that. Um, hopefully this helps anybody out there that likes participating in the gyms and stuff like that. It'll give you a little bit more boost, and that way you can actually take and get more incubators. Um, incubators are only 150 Pokecoins, so uh, the more incubators you have, of course, the more eggs you hatch, and eggs are everything in this game. So hopefully you guys enjoy this little video here, and hopefully it helps somebody out. Uh, please like this video, uh, subscribe, maybe leave me a comment in the comment section if you liked it, and I will see you guys next time.